You've probably heard a lot about the knowledge economy, but never had the implications for your business shown to you. But the way the knowledge economy operates should be dictating the way you approach your business systems. The differences start with the inputs for the two. In the machine economy, it was a very controlled environment where there were a strict set of rules around inputs and outputs, manufacturing. The knowledge economy works like the real world. Processes and inputs are randomized, depending on who and what is available. Within the machine economy, the key asset was your capital, your property, your machines, your material, and the final product. But now, we're dealing with human capital. It's people's skills, experience, and knowledge that drive this economy. This leads to the winning formula being completely different. In the machine economy, the name of the game was to maximize efficiency in order to reduce cost. Whereas now, we must focus on maximizing value in order to differentiate ourselves. It's what leads to a completely different set of process flows. In the machine economy, we would rely on a strictly linear way of operating. Like a system of ladders where you needed to step on one rung before moving on to the next. But now we're dealing with a more complex and unpredictable environment where the inputs of the process flows are like a tree with multiple options depending on who's climbing. What it boils down to is that they both end up with different ways to achieve competitive advantage. In the machine economy, compliance gave you control. But we are now in an economy where we need the boundaries of compliance to be flexible to allow us not only to find the correct answers, but to make smarter decisions. It just goes to show that not only are we now dealing with different inputs, but the way we allow processes to happen result in hugely different outcomes. With such differences between the two economies, it's amazing that we still rely on processes from the machine age to drive our businesses, and that's why we need systems like XM Pro that allow for these changes to get ahead in the new economy.